Hey everyone, this is Finn from the Ashrev team, and today we're going to be checking out the EM31 Pro made by MCAN Astro. So first of all, here we have this bag, and what I want to point out really quick is that you will get this awesome, very, I, I love this strap right here. This is a shoulder strap. It'll be, it'll make sure that you can carry this bag super easily. This is made for traveling, right? If we open this up here, you see we have these nice, this nice red soft padding here that will protect your mount if you ever, um, you know, get into some bumps on the road if you're traveling in a car or if you bump it on your, you know, your body while you're walking. So if we take it out really quick here, let me just place it down. You can see, you know, this mount is just like a beast just by looking at it, right? So now compared to other harmonic mounts with similar weight capacities such as the AM5, this mount has a bunch of premium features that I'd like to show off. First of all, I want to point out we have a we have two USB ports right here and the power cord right here. For these two USB ports, you can plug in your, you know, you can plug in your ASI Air and you can plug in your DC hub for all of your other equipment that you have. Uh, another thing that I want to point out here is the material that this is made of. The main body here is made of CNC'd aerospace grade aluminum, which is super durable and all over the mount actually, and the tripod, which I'll show off later, has a bunch of carbon fiber. So you can see here, this plate right here is made of uh, purely carbon fiber. And right around the ridge of the, this little area here, we can see we have a bunch of carbon fiber here. Now I'm gonna pack this up and we're gonna head over to the dark site where I'm going to set this up and explain everything else, such as the altitude adjustment system right here and the tripod. I'm just going to do some quick little voiceovers for this b-roll that we got here in the first part. Uh, you can see me putting it into the back of a car. Uh, I didn't use the, the strap that I talked about earlier, but I did use it when bringing it out of the car. Uh, it's very comfortable and I really enjoy it. This is me just screwing in the like extensions to the tripod. Uh, there are actually little grips you can see near the tops of them, and they are actually help for they help for leveling the the mount, uh, so you don't have to use like those dumb little screws at the bottom with uh, other tripods. You can just screw it kind of like a corkscrew mechanism, and it's uh, very useful. So what I'm putting on here is a pure extension, and this is so longer telescopes won't hit into the uh, tripod legs. Uh, I'm going to talk about something in a, just a little bit about the pier extension. So here we have uh, me putting the mount onto the tripod. And one thing that I had a little bit of struggles with was because I don't use pier extensions for my own setup. Uh, is that when you put the mount onto the tripod, you actually have to push up on the locking screw near the bottom to actually lock it into the mount's thread. Uh, so yeah. So now, as the sun sets, let's move in to me actually using the mount. Hey everyone, we're here at Puerto Cove, a dark site on the west coast of British Columbia, Canada. We're gonna be testing out the EM31 Pro in clear, dark skies. We have a six inch Newtonian telescope donated to us by one of the members of our server that we're gonna be using on the EM31 Pro to test it out. Now come a little closer where I'm gonna show you how to mount the telescope. Some special things about this mount actually is right here, these two black plates you can actually remove and change it from a Vixen dovetail to a Lasmani dovetail where you can mount bigger telescopes. After our quick setup, we were left with plenty of time to capture the Andromeda Galaxy. Now that we have our data and it's all stacked and ready to go, let me go into more depth on the altitude adjustment system and my final thoughts on the mount. So wrapping up our experience with the EM31 Pro, honestly, it really impressed us. Even without any guiding, we were able to get 
consistent one minute exposures with no issue uh that kind of tracking performance right out of the box is insane uh setup was fast overall there's a bit of a learning curve for me personally because i've never used a harmonic mount but once we got the hang of it it felt super smooth uh one feature that really stood out was the altitude adjustment system it's a patented design by mcan astro and it made polar alignment way way easier it felt smooth and responsive, locking in securely without any play. Thanks to that, we consistently got clean stars with full width half maximum of around 5 pixels, which really shows how well the mount tracks even without guiding. It takes the frustration out of alignment, especially when you're working quickly or in the dark. The tripod is made of carbon fiber, which keeps it lightweight but still really sturdy and stable, and that's exactly what you want for those long exposures without any wobble. So overall, the EM31 Pro offers a reliable, straightforward experience that makes it a great choice for anyone looking to upgrade their setup. If you want to dive deeper, we'll be posting a detailed article about the EM31 Pro over on our Discord server Astro. You can find the invite link in the video description or just scan the QR code on the screen to join.